Farm RPG, Bellogan here. In this video, we're going to talk about fishing and some hints and tips on how to do it better. So I'm playing this on the PC for recording. I will note that fishing is a little bit easier when you do it on mobile or on a tablet that has a touch screen. And it'll be pretty obvious as to why here shortly. Um, so to go fishing, a couple things. First, you need to make sure that you have bait. You can check your inventory under fishing. It'll show you if you have any bait. You can see I've got some lovely fish caught here already. If you don't, you can get some from the town at the county store and it's down here at the bottom bait. Three silver a piece, pretty cheap. You can also, uh, when you get to fishing level five in your farm, grow a worm habitat and it will produce uh, worms every hour. Generally, this isn't a great investment given how cheap worms are, but it is an option. All right, so to actually go fishing, you click on go fishing. There is one location at your farm um, the farm pond that you can build and the fish in the farm pond are generally better than your first couple of areas um, But I'm not going to dig into that too much. I mostly want to talk about how to catch fish So when you click go fishing there are various areas you start with a small pond as you're leveling up in levels new areas will come available Emerald Beach at 40 vast ocean at 50 and so forth um, I'm gonna start off by just clicking on small pond and to show you how this works so you'll see a shadow come up with a fish somewhere and when that happens you just click on it and then you'll have this blue dot and when it shows up you just click on it looks pretty easy uh, the trick is that this speeds up a lot at uh, at a certain break I want to say it's a level 20 pond it might be so down here it's pretty easy to to catch fish without too much effort the dot moves so slow it's pretty easy to just chase it and grab it now the thing you'll notice about my screen size the way i have it set up it is as small as it can be um, vertically and horizontally such that my chat and my uh, navigation panel still shows up if i go any smaller than this it goes away and it'll look like it does a mobile and the height i have set so that the sell all fish button just barely shows up all right we'll catch another one let me come to a different area we're going to come to the vast ocean and you'll see a huge difference in speed here uh, when I click on one of the shadows, all of a sudden this starts going really, really fast. I'm going to miss one intentionally just to show. And you'll notice this pattern stays up about three seconds before it goes away. So that's how long you have. Now the dot moves fast enough that you don't want to chase it. What you want to do is pick a side, wait for the dot to come there, and just start clicking like mad when the dot comes towards it, whether you're clicking on it or tapping on it. And with the patterns, there are roughly three of them. Missed that one there. So you have the one that goes full all the way right to left. You've got one that's not quite full screen uh, or the full width. It'll be just bouncing back and forth, left and right. And that one will um, sometimes shift which side it's over a little bit further. And then you have one that's gonna pause in the middle uh, as it goes back and forth as well. So typically either way, all the way on the edge. Um, and oftentimes this first cycle, I'm just gonna kind of gauge where it's at and then I'm gonna get my mouse in the right spot. And then at second cycle, as the dot comes over, that's when I'm going to click on it. And sometimes they still get away from you. So I don't do this a whole lot when I'm going for streak on PC. You see my best streak down here is over 6,000. You're not going to do that typically on a PC. Uh, on my phone, I can say I never really miss fish, to be honest. It's mostly with my computer when I'm trying to click weird. Um, but it's about just watching the pattern, wait till the dot gets that side, and then just start clicking like mad. That's really all there is to it, to catching these fish. Now, even though it might seem harder that the dot is moving a lot faster, um, it actually, especially if you aren't very patient, it, it gets easier and it's faster when the dot's moving this quick. <laughs> when it's that slow, if you're in the habit of watching the pattern and then trying to click, sometimes it doesn't make it to the second half of the pattern before your timer runs out. So I like the switch. I want to say, we can double check it here. I want to say it's at Lake Tempest where that switch is. Let's just grab one here and we'll, we'll check and see. No, Lake Tempest is still pretty slow. Um, Small Island, I think this is where it switches to the faster pattern. Yeah, that's the faster pattern, Small Island. So really there's only two speeds. There's pre-Small Island and then Small Island and everything after that. So that's really it. That's how you uh, catch a ton of fish. Yeah, I haven't been here since we started keeping track of the, the streaks. But uh, fishing as a whole um, is initially it's, it's slow and it's painful. I'm going to be honest. I'm going through small pond, forest pond, your farm pond, and even like Tempest. It doesn't seem to go that fast and the fish don't sell all that well. Um, later on, it gets really, really, really good though. 
Crystal River, um, you're going to average probably, depending on your perk, 70 to 80 silver per fish. You're going to get about three times that at Emerald Beach. Let me just show you at Vast Ocean here. Um, if I go to view location information down here on Vast Ocean, um, the skipjack is the most common fish that you're going to catch here. You'll catch probably half of them are going to be skipjacks, roughly. Um, and it sells for 500 silver. So with the perks that give you a 60% selling premium uh, on everything you sell, that's about 800 silver. So you're making about 800 silver per fish you catch on average, and that has worked out over the average over the hundreds and thousands of fish I've caught out here in the, the vast ocean. So it ends up being a really good source of income that's active depending on how much time you have. If you've got an hour or two to sit down and do this, you can bring in uh, quite a bit of cash to your coffers. Um, if you don't have a lot of time, it still is decent just to you know catch 100 fish and, and make 80k silver uh, for whatever you're looking at buying next and, and stash it away. So that's it. That's my fishing guide. Hopefully this was helpful. Thanks for watching.